Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Today I'm going to confront controversy head on and compare a Leonardo Officiana Italiana Momento Zero with a Moonman M800. Now that's, no, this is the Momento. Yeah, okay. A Momento, a Leonardo Officiana Italiana Momento Zero Blue Hawaii with an M800 Moonman side by side. The Leonardo has a gold colored number six size Leonardo branded Bach steel nib, and the Moonman has a Bach branded gold colored number six size steel nib. I'm going to do some straight up side by side objective comparisons visually and by micrometer measurements and weights, and some subjective observations of fit and finish feel and writing experience. Then we'll look at the retail prices of these two pens and determine which is the better buy. We'll also dive into the controversial judgments. Is the Moon Man a rip-off of the Leonardo? Is it a fake, a copy, or a steal? Let's find out the answers to those questions and more right now. Okay, here is the Leonardo Momento Zero, which I will call the MZ from now on to keep this video under an hour. And I have two Moonman M800s. This one in amber. This one has the Bach nib. I'll be back. And the German Bach nib. And that's a fine. And this one is in the galaxy blue, what I call galaxy blue, has the Moonman nib. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I didn't like either the Moonman fine nib or the Bach fine nib in either of these pens. And here is that Pen BBS fine Waverly nib, two-tone, that I got from Luke. I've said this many times already, but this pen with the Pen BBS nib in it is the best writing fountain pen in my collection, which includes a gold nib Schaefer and a Pilot and a steel nibbed Visconti, which was more expensive than any of them. For the purposes of this comparison, however, I've taken the Pen BBS nib from the Galaxy and replaced it with the original Moonman fine nib, which was sitting in a box. I had also removed the Bach nib out of my M800 uh, Moonman. Stay here. I'll be back. And uh, replaced it with a Pen BBS fine Waverly nib as well. But while doing the nib tuning exercises with the two Leonardo nibs, and you can see that in my previous video, I kind of practiced with the Bach and got it writing very nicely. She'll be back. So now I've got the three pens the way they came to me. The MZ with the medium steel Bach nib, the M800 Amber with the fine Bach steel nib, and the M800 Galaxy with the fine Moonman steel nib. So we're all lined up for comparison. Of course, you understand that these nibs, with the exception of the original Moonman, that I put back on the Galaxy have all been tuned. The M800 Bach just a little bit, but the medium MZ had some serious work on it. But I'm going to pretend this is how all three came out of the proverbial box. All three write nicely. All three are steel number six nibs, two German and one Chinese. So we're all set. Let's do some objective analysis with some empirical measurements first. Here are the numbers. So you can see from the measurements that all three pens are, for all intents and purposes, identical. The MZ is three grams heavier and two millimeters short because of the extra ring in the M800 cap. 
The MZ is heavier because of the heavier converter knob and the extra metal in the blind cap screw thread. By looking at the three pens objectively, we can see the main visual differences. The MZ has three cap rings, one, two, three, where the M800 has two, but the M800 has an extra ring above the clip and the M800's finial is a separate piece that is screwed down into the cap and holds the clip and that gold ring in place. You can see the screw threads inside the finial on this semi-transparent amber. The MZ's clip extends directly from the one-piece cap. The clips, although they are similar, are different in shape and the little wheels are different as well. As I said in my review of the MZ, this style roller clip can be seen on fountain pens dating back as far as the 1920s with the wall ever sharp. If we take off the caps, each cap comes off with just over one turn. There we go. And I know you're curious so yes, the M800 cap will go on the MZ, but the MZ cap will not go on the M800. Obviously, the M800 has a slightly larger thread. The sections of the three pens are identical in shape and size, except for the added gold-colored metal ring on the M800 which is not actually a ring at all, but the base of the metal section, the flange there. Let's call the MZ and the M800 Bach nibs identical, except for the branding. The entire M800 Bach nib unit fits perfectly into the MZ, as I showed in my MZ review, where I wanted to write with the pen and substituted this Bach uh, because neither of the MZ nibs would write for me. The M800 Galaxy came with this Moonman nib assembly, which will not go into either the M800 Amber or the MZ uh, section and does not take standard international cartridges like these two do, but it will take what I call the Chinese standard cartridge, which you can get by the thousands on eBay, mostly branded Jinhao. All three pens come with a converter included, but the MZ's converter is special, as we shall see. The sections unscrew, and we see another big difference between the MZ and the M800. The back of the M800 section is metal and branded Moonman. The MZ's section is all acrylic resin. The MZ's converter extends through the blind cap end of the pen, with an elongated gold-colored knob with Leonardo branding. The M800 does not have this feature. The MZ's converter is also threaded, gives it a much better security. The M800s, of course, just pull out. The MZ's barrel, of course, is engraved with Leonardo, Officina Italiana, and the number, although it's not a limited edition, it's numbered and the M800s, of course, are not. And of course, there's that unscrewing blind cap on the MZ, which the M800 does not have. Other than the packaging, that's the extent of the obvious visual differences between them. There are a couple of not so obvious differences to be found, however. One is that, surprisingly, the inside part of the section on the MZ is not polished. See that section, that part of the section is polished, this part isn't. That kind of surprised me. The other thing that's interesting is the difference in thicknesses of the acrylic on these pens. The M800s are 1.75 millimeters thick and the MZ is only 1.2 millimeters thick. And no, 
the barrel of the MZ does not fit the section. It binds up in there and the barrel of the M800 does not go with the section of the MZ either. So those are some of the measurements and objective visual differences. What about the subjective? Is the writing experience different with each pen? So let's write with them. So here is the MZ, the Leonardo. Officina, Italiana, Momento, Zero, and it has a medium Bach steel nib. And this is Robert Oster Fire and Ice. You notice I got a bit of a of a skip there. I am getting a few skips out of this medium, but I'm still working on it to get it perfect. Let's do a quote. And here is the M800 Moonman in Amber. And this has a fine Steel nib. I'm back. And the ink is Robert Oster, Master Kiza, Rot. Stand back! Stand back! The little guy has a rotten brain! It's not rotten. It's a good brain. It's rotten, I tell you. Rotten. <laughs> Ixnay on the open ray. Now let's do a quote. And here is the Moonman M800 Galaxy. Oops, I sort of went off camera. I'll let you read that. And this is a moon man. Steel nib. And the ink is KWZ Azure number five. And let's do a quote and see if we can stay on camera this time.
All three nibs are different, of course. And you could put almost any number six size nib in any of these pens, steel or gold. But as a writing experience of the pen in hand, posted or unposted, all three of these pens are identical to me. If you were blindfolded and held each of these pens, it would be impossible to tell the difference between them. So we're down to the nitty gritty here. The differences between these pens is going to be price and origin. The MZ is five times the price of the M800 with the Bach nib and 10 times the price of the M800 with the Moonman nib. The MZ comes in a huge range of finishes with new ones coming out all the time. Plus, Leonardo have some fabulous other designs, including the Fiore, which is like Leonardo's Schaefer Balance style pen, and a larger size of the MZ in what they call the Grande. So that would be the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Mocha Grande Crescento. E molto pericoloso, signorina. Molto pericoloso. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that. The Moonman M800 currently comes in four colors. The MZ is handmade by relatively higher-priced skilled labor in a workshop or officina in Italy. The Moon Man is made in China by less skilled labor in a factory. Is the Moon Man a fake Leonardo? No, it's not. It's branded Moon Man, not Leonardo. Is the Moon Man a Leonardo copy? Well, to an extent, yes. The Moon Man has copied most of the design elements of what I think is a brilliantly designed fountain pen in the MZ. Moon Man has made some changes, but not enough to consider this pen inspired by. It is 90% copied from this pen. So, is this Moon Man a ripoff of the MZ? I don't think so. It is substantially less money and almost exactly the same fit and finish and quality as the Leonardo. So the consumer is not getting ripped off. Is Leonardo getting ripped off then? Well, if all of the design aspects of the MZ were copyrighted by the designer, then yes, Leonardo's getting ripped off. But good luck with international copyright law. I doubt there's much they can do about it. Is the M800 going to put a dent in Leonardo's sales? I doubt it. People are going to buy, quote, the real thing, unquote, for the prestige of having the original. And the M800 is clearly a Chinese pen and priced accordingly. And I doubt the Chinese pens put Delta out of business. So the question is, is the MZ worth the extra money? That is a really subjective and personal question. I don't think it's worth the extra money because I think the MZ is overpriced. But I also think my Visconti Van Gogh is overpriced too. But I'm interested in the writing experience, not impressing my neighbors or colleagues. If the MZ sold for $150 instead of $250 Canadian, or that's $110 instead of $185 in US dollars, then it would be priced correctly in my mind. I know Leonardo pays their employees more because there is a higher standard of living in Italy over China. I also know that Leonardo has greater overhead due to the packaging and marketing and distribution of their products, although they cleverly go directly to retailers instead of through distributors. I don't mind paying more to support the original designer, but in the end, it is a steel nib with about as much quality control over the nibs as the Chinese pen I get from eBay. So it's the luck of the draw. I doubt I'll be getting another Momento Zero, but those Fiore models are just gorgeous. If I see one for 110 bucks US, I'll be all over it. In the meantime, I have an extra Pen BBS fine nib that needs a nib holder, and I have a purple M800 in my in basket. I will talk more about the fake copy steel issue when I review the Moonman T2. Yes, the Moon Man copy thieves are at it again, and the Italian target this time is Stipula. So, stay tuned for that review next week. 
Until then, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications when new videos arrive. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.